Hi guys, it's Zofia. Welcome to another episode of Zof Skills Fishing. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. Guys, today I'll be fishing uh, Durban Harbor again. I'll be using um, three different rods and a variety of techniques and an array of different lures. So I'm on my way. I'm in the harbor. I'm on my way to the pier, the first spot. And once we get there, I'll just take you through the setup and music for today. So guys, um, just before the pier, I'm um, just going to show you how dark it really is. You can see there's a pier in front of us, too. a few guys standing on it. So we have an early start this morning, that's a good thing. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to get to the pier and just set up and show you what I'll be using today. So guys, we're here at the spot, uh, it's 12 o'clock in the morning and you can hear there is a wind, there's a strong uh, northwesterly blowing, which is a good thing. I'm just going to take you through the setups I'm using today. So guys, uh, so guys, this is the first setup, which is a Shakespeare Ugly Stick 5'8 on a Max Reel Omega 1000 size reel. Um, the line I'm using is nanofilament Berkeley with the Sunland fluorocarbon. It's a 12 pound uh, nanofilament, a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'm using a jerk bait on this rod here. The second setup I'll be using is bait casting setup. That's the Shimano Solara 6 foot 6. Um, that comes with uh, the Cremon long cast salt water reel be using a golden spoon on that and then my last setup for the day this is actually a new setup for my arsenal which is the sensations silhouette rod paid casting rod and I got that paired up with the Poseidon Eclipse which is my brand new reel awesome reel um, guys at the end of the video I'll just tell you a bit more about the setup and why I use it that's a seven foot paid casting reel both these rods are uh, medium heavy and fast uh, tip action and this is uh, obviously um, medium and uh, slow action however it is uh, rated as a light rod but it's very powerful so that's the setup I'm using for today guys and let's see if I catch any fish I came off oh, on on slow Guys, my first throw in the dark. I'm on with a big fish. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Oh, right here, bro. Like one, whatever it is. Walla walla. Oh, nice snapper. Nice snapper salmon. Oh. So guys, um, I knew it was going to be a bit difficult uh, getting some footage in the dark. I did manage to put my action camera on. You guys are going to see that footage. You're not going to see anything in it. But uh, here's the first fish. First cast on my new setup. It's a snapper salmon, also known as a cob. Here we go. First throw, guys. First throw and I got this. It's my largest snapper on lure yet. Um, I caught one a few days back as well. As you can see, this guy is just freshly caught. has a lot of life in him. And I got him on a Z-Man Minos in a smoky shed. And using a TT Headlocks 38-ounce uh, jig head with a number 2 hook. So guys, this is an awesome uh, catch. You get him uh, unhooked and I'm going to release him now. So guys, um, I knew it was going to be a bit difficult uh, getting some footage in the dark. I did manage to put my action camera on, you guys are going to see that footage, you're not going to see anything in it. But uh, here's the first fish, first cast on my new setup. It's a snapper salmon, also known as a cob. Here we go. First throw guys, first throw and I got this. 
it's my largest snap on lure yet um i caught one a few days back as well as you can see this guy is just freshly caught has a lot of life in him and i got him on a z-man minnows in a smoky shad and using a tt headlocks uh 38 ounce jig head with a number two hook so guys this is an awesome uh, catch and get him uh, unhooked and i'm gonna release him now so guys here's the salmon quite large it's about the length of my forearm yeah so i'm gonna just unhook him here Just get my phone camera on and give this guy a release. So guys, there's it. First cast, first fish. Nice size cop, as the Aussies call them, Jewfish or Malawi, to get the day started. It was on a soft plastic. I still have to use a crank bait as well as a uh, gold spoon so we'll see what happens but let me just get a release on this guy
So this is the part of the vlog where I tell you about uh, the reel I was using. Um, so guys, I used three setups today. Or I was planning on using three setups. Unfortunately, um, I only managed to catch uh, the fish on one of my setups. Uh, that was the Poseidon Eclipse 100 bait casting reel with the Sensations um, Silhouette 7 foot uh, rod. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't catch anything on my other bait caster, which is the Clayman Long Cast. The uh, reason for that is I had a huge backlash on the first cast. Um, I'm still getting used to it. It's been about maybe four or five months of using bait casting reels. And I never have my brakes adjusted correctly. So I actually had it on, I think it was one or zero. And I had a huge backlash. As you can see, if you compare to the beginning of the video when I show you my setup, you'll actually see I got about, about a quarter to half an inch of line missing off the spool. Uh, to actually um, try and open that backlash. I tried it at the pier, but then I realized that it was actually quite deep inside the spool. So I had to come home and open the side plate here and obviously work with it from there. So I couldn't complete uh, the video with, uh, using in terms of using all my setups. And the other setup, well, I have some bad news about what happened there. So it was wasn't that perfect for me it wasn't that perfect of a day for me i did catch a good fish so that was a highlight but uh, as i said i'm gonna just go through a comparison or not even a comparison just tell you a bit more about this reel so this is the latest reel i've purchased um it's a bait casting reel um, this is the reel and this is the box it came in that's it as you can see no information no branding nothing all it has is this piece of information here, which is a real Eclipse 100 bait caster. It's repeated here, and there's a price. So this uh, reel was purchased for 498 rand, and uh, that's about it. If you open the box, you see there's nothing in there. It just comes with this plastic paper, no casing, no schematics. Um, it's just a basic entry-level reel. But with that being said. I uh, just want to tell you about the performance of this reel. <clears throat> so guys, I am quite impressed with this reel. I've caught four fish so far, three different species. Uh, the fish that was caught today was of course on this uh, reel here. Um, I'll show you some of the fish that I've caught. I have a few picks. Uh, so I did catch a nice bar tail flat tail as well. And uh, a shad and another snapper salmon prior to the one today. So I do have pictures of the other step salmon or cob as well as the butter flatter that i caught but uh i don't have a picture of the shed so let's go through this reel so guys first things first i'm just gonna do a size comparison of this reel so here we go here's the reel here and this is my first bait casting reel that i've got as well so if you do a size comparison, you can see it's a huge variance. So this is a 100 size. This is more likely a 300 size. This is actually um, a saltwater bait casting reel. This is a freshwater bait casting reel. Um, if you look at the handles as well, you'll see a huge difference. There is a dispar disparity in terms of size. Um, the Poseidon Eclipse has quite a smaller a handle but they have the same it has the same type of material that's used in the grips which I really like it's strong grips so uh, yeah uh, to be honest with you guys they both are right hand reels and uh, the spool on this is quite large it's a very deep spool this is also a deep spool but depending on the diameter of your line um, doesn't hold that much. I'm using 14 pound here uh, suffix mono and I'm using 12 pound suffix mono here um, Guys, I won't like this reel uh, Even though it's classed as a entry-level reel in terms of price and uh, obviously the Features on it. However, with that being said guys, I like it. It looks awesome um, It's full black as you can see it has a uh, 
uh, gold spool tension knob as well as the spool itself is gold um, very classy very elegant looking um, obviously the brakes dial is silver it's plastic it's not metal anyway this uh, I believe it's some sort of carbon material but it's awesome uh, it doesn't have a, a click switch to open the side you basically have to open the screw well they both work like that uh, the spool tension knob doesn't have a click however the brakes does have a click um, also a click on the the brakes here um, basically similar to the long cast the only difference of course would be that this has a click on the spool tension so with that being said um, guys I've caught some very nice fish so far I'm very impressed with this I got this uh, paired up as I said on the sensation silhouette rod and the features of that rod is basically it's a seven foot rod at 2.13 meters the action of the rod is a medium heavy action I can throw quarter ounce weights up to three quarter ounce weights uh, that's 7 to 21 grams uh, line weight is 10 to 20 pounds and uh, that's basically four and a half to 9.1 kilos so actually i'm throwing line that's basically um just over the entry level which is 10 so i'm throwing about 12 pound line on it one like guys uh very smooth action very crisp this is a two plus one ball bearing so it has two bearings and one roller ball bearing and this is obviously a nine plus one ball bearing which it says right there i'm sure if you can see that nine plus one ball bearing but with that being said guys the pulling power on this reel is amazing uh, if you pair up on uh, a good a good rod this reel will work wonders for you i've caught already about four nice size fish so according to me this is how i do it it's just my way of thinking of it um 100 bucks to catch a fish right so far i've caught four fish i just need to catch one more and this uh rod is basically paid for itself that's how I look at it guys it's very affordable I would suggest you go out and get it um, it's not salt water ready however guys as you can see about two weeks of using it it's still fairly smooth um, of course you have to maintain it so put some oil maybe later on what I'll do is uh, switch out those two ball bearings to ceramics just to give it a bit more uh, I'd say uh, durability in salt water but other than that guys I'm really impressed with this and yeah my suggestion to anyone out there who wants to basically start off using bait casting reels check out the Poseidon uh, Eclipse 100 it's available at Kingfisher and I believe Basil Manning as well I'm not affiliated to these stores it's just that uh, I like to promote good products that I come across. So if you're fishing on a budget or you just want to start off using bait casting reels, suggest you buy this. Guys, it casts like a dream. You get a lot of distance on it. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this reel. I'd say that uh, it's worth its weight in gold. It's proven itself so far. Uh, for two months of exclusive salt water use, I would say this is an awesome product to get. I'm just going to tell you a bit more about what happened earlier on today and why I couldn't use or catch a fish on all my setup. So uh, let me get into that now. So guys, if you remember at the beginning of the video, I had three setups. Um, I had the Shakespeare Ugly Stick um, that's paired up with the Max Reel or Mega 1000 Reel. And I had that uh, obviously ready to use for my jug bait or hard plastics. And then I had my Shimano Solara bait casting rod with the uh, Kremlin long cast. And I had a gold spoon, which I couldn't use because I backlash on the first cast. And then, of course, I had uh, uh, Poseidon Eclipse 100 on my Shimano Silhouette rod. And uh, I actually had some success with that. So uh, what happened was, guys, as I was vlogging, my battery died. And just before I could change to my uh, additional battery or my spare battery, I decided to cast out the jug bait and about the fifth cast the line actually broke off so it broke off at the FG knot so I believe it could have been maybe my error human error 
it could have just been that I was flicking that reel a bit too hard because I was trying to get a lot of casting distance. So guys, normally in the harbor when you flick out a bait and uh, a lure and it breaks off the line, that's it, sayonara, you're not going to see that lure ever again. It happened to me recently with my uh, Daiwa 7 gram Wise Masao spoon. That spoon is very rare and uh, I lost it on a, on a cast and that was the end of that. So when I did flick out that jug bait and it broke off the line, I was like, okay, that's it. And the sad thing is, guys, uh, when I fish, sometimes I cast into a channel which the boats use. And soon after casting that lure out, a boat came past. And obviously with, with the waves it created on the surface, that lure ended up moving from from where it landed in the water and I was just about to give up on that lure thinking that I'll never see it again it was a bit disheartening because I actually ordered that online from overseas and uh, I just about to give up and then there was this gentleman who actually used a small boat to get to his to his larger boat which was docked at the harbor so I shouted out to him and I said hi sorry there's a lure stuck in the water it broke off and this gentleman could have easily just put his hands up and said, I don't know, you know, I'm busy and carried on his way, but he didn't. So what he did was he actually used his smaller boat to look for that lure. And after about 10 minutes, he actually found it in the water. And he actually came towards the pier because it's a rocky pier. He didn't want to bring the boat too close, but he actually uh, threw the lure to me and I actually was able to retrieve that lure. So I did get the guy's name because I said I am going to give him a shout out on my video. His name is Dean. So thank you so much for that, Dean. Um, as you said, you know, it's all about doing good deeds and helping each other out. Those were Dean's exact words. And he was a good Samaritan. And he really helped me out. So you know what, Dean, thank you so much for that. Um, big shout out to you uh, for being, you know, a nice somebody, helping me out. You didn't have to. It was a choice and you did it so that was just a moment of altruism from you which i highly uh, appreciate and respect and may god bless you always and helping me not lose money may god also benefit you in many ways um so yeah guys um uh, just you know something that happened nothing too you know big to write home about but i thought you no know, i'll tell you guys about it and guys here's the lure which I managed to salvage thanks to Dean. And on it, I have a Daiwa Tournament Pro uh, wire leader, which is obviously a 12 kg strength. And then here's my fluorocarbon as well. And I use, as I told you, 20 pound uh, sunline. And as you can see, this is where it broke off at the FG knot, right there. I'm not sure if you can see that so just a big shout out to Dean thank you so much uh, buddy do appreciate it uh, I hope you see this video because I did tell you I'm gonna shout out to you and uh, yeah guys it's all about that good deed a day goes a long way and thank you so much for watching if you're not a subscriber please subscribe it's absolutely free uh, if you are already a subscriber thank you so much for supporting me and watching my videos guys I do this purely for the love of the sport uh stay tuned guys uh once i reach 100 subscribers um i have some good news for everyone who is subscribed to the channel um and who always comments so please like share and subscribe i'm trying to grow this channel so obviously i get uh, more views and i can do much more and uh, stay tuned for more action guys i'm actually gonna try some new things as we go ahead with this channel and guys all your suggestions are taken into consideration um, and I will be obviously looking into doing some other type of vlogs um, Got to do with fishing, but not maybe just fishing itself Maybe some of the equipment I use or some of the knots that I use I, I know I have a lot of subscribers and people have actually requested for that So guys, I haven't forgotten about it. I definitely will be doing that soon Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more amazing fishing action from Zoof Skills Fishing. Take care